Well, this morning we are getting a better scope of how the coronavirus pandemic is impacting hospitals across the tri-state. There's still an urgent need for supplies, everything from masks to ventilators, which we've talked so much about. Here's the headlines this morning. The Senate passing an historic relief bill. President Trump has approved a, a disaster declaration for our area and several other states. However, we did learn overnight that <laughs> deaths across the United States have now topped 1,000. The tri-state still outpacing the rest of the country. New York with nearly 33,000 cases, 366 deaths. New Jersey with more than 4,400 cases, 62 deaths. Connecticut, nearly 900 cases, 19 deaths. We do have team coverage this morning. Today, New York's Tracy Strahan's live in Newark. First, though, we head to today, New York's Catherine Craig on the west side. Kat, good morning. And good morning to you, Darlene and Michael. And why we're here at Mount Sinai West Hospital, this is where a nursing manager passed away. He had been treating patients sick with COVID-19. This is where hospital staff members, so many of them, are heartbroken this morning. That nursing manager has been described as compassionate and devoted to his patients. We want to show you a photo of him. His name is Caius Jordan Kelly. He was only in his 40s. He died this past Tuesday. He had been admitted to the hospital on March 17th, so he was in the hospital for only one week. He had been treating patients COVID-19 positive. Hospitals across the city, as you can imagine, and as you know, are overwhelmed in caring for patients sick with the coronavirus. At Elmhurst Hospital in Queens, 13 people died in a 24-hour period. And then you add the need for critical supplies like masks and hospital gowns. Governor Cuomo and Mayor de Blasio have stated that the federal stimulus bill does not do enough for the city and the state. Governor Cuomo talked about the need for personal protective equipment and also ventilators. We're looking at about 40,000 ICU cases coming into the hospitals. We have about 3,000 ICU beds. Uh, that's a challenge. And we want to show you now a statement from Mount Sinai Health about the nursing manager, Caius Kelly, who passed away. That statement goes, we are deeply saddened by the passing of a beloved member of our nursing staff. The safety of our staff and patients has never been of greater importance, and we are taking every precaution possible to protect everyone. And that statement went on to say, Darlene and Michael, that this growing case is not abating, and it has devastated so many families across New York City. And coming up in the next half, Half hour, Darlene and Michael will tell you about a, ho a hotel here in New York City that's offering rooms and care for nursing uh, staff for other medical personnel and during this time. Reporting live, Catherine Craig, today in New York, we'll send it back to you. Kat, thank you very much.